All right, guys, so that three gallon strawberry tree will be going into that 15 gallon pot right there. And in this area, it's going to get afternoon shade, afternoon to evening, I mean, not shade, I'm sorry, afternoon to evening and evening sun. And hopefully it should be fine right there. And as for the soil, I'm just going to go ahead and use the regular potting mix from Summer Winds. Hey, Jacob. <laughs> All right, guys. So the Jamaican cherry or strawberry tree, it is potted. And I'm just going to wait a little bit for the soil to settle. And then I'm going to put mulch all around the root ball or just on top. Again, I just want to say thank you to Alan from Queen Creek Tropical for gifting me this tree. It's amazing. Um, I didn't expect it. And this is my fifth try. So this guy's going to stay in a pot and during the winter time, it will be moved inside. Well, let me help you out here. So, there. That's beautiful, huh? Look at that. So, this is a chocolate stripe tomato. Ah, look at the butt. <laughs> <laughs> That's gorgeous. Chocolate stripe, huh? Yep. You sure it's not chocolate cherry stripe? No, okay. the chocolate cherry is smaller. Mmm. Ooh, it's juicy. Oh, how is it? I don't taste chocolate. Well, <laughs> obviously it's a tomato. Oh. Good though. I love eating it off the vine like this. So fresh and juicy. I mean, look at all that juice. What would you compare it to? All the tomatoes that you've tasted. Well, I think it's its own. I don't, I don't know how to compare it because it's different. It's I mean, it's tasty. It's flavorful. There's a lot of um, nutrients in there. You can tell. I would definitely, I would definitely look forward to eating this on a salad, or even by itself like this. It's really good. That's why I enjoy it. But you can eat it by itself. That's why I really enjoy a plant. So. Hmm. Okay. Well, rating. That's a eight. And why not a ten? Because. I like the other two ones you had, the little, little ones. The little chocolate? Yeah, those are good. Chocolate sprinkle? They're really good. Okay. Where is it? Right there. Oh. Uh, yeah. They're called the midnight snacks. <laughs> you know it's clean. Oh. Look at that. It's like you make a face on it. You and the face. Mm. Oh, wow. The whole thing. Okay. Is it sweeter than the chocolate stripe? I wouldn't say sweeter. I almost thought initially it was sour, but I mean, there's a lot of water in there, a lot of juice. Different, but real different with contrast, you know? Um, if I had to eat both, I would like both in the salad, but I really enjoy this one. Okay. It's bigger, so you get a little more taste. Like you said, you add a little salt to it. Maybe it's salt to this too, I guess, but I thought this was enjoyable. This one's good too. It's, it's more like a cocktail party. <laughs> cocktail party, like we go to a cocktail party. I'm just saying, it's, if I was in New York, I'd oh. expect to have this. Okay. So there's the chocolate stripe. I thought the other one was chocolate stripe. I meant chocolate cherry sprinkle or chocolate sprinkle cherry. Well, let's see the labels right here. <laughs> it's a good thing I saved the label. It's the chocolate sprinkle. Okay. Chocolate sprinkle, huh? That is beautiful. There's another ripe one here. Look at that. Hmm. Ooh, it's a robust taste. Mm hmm Very good, juicy. Mm hmm Fulfilling. Makes mm -hmm. you want to grab another one, you know what I mean? Well, there's another one. Got this one. All right, guys. Now that we have the tree planting and 
tomato tasting out of the way, let's take a look at what's new in the garden. Um, <laughs> oh yes, the corn. So check out the corns. Got ears there, ears there. And it is three times taller than they were last week. Then I have more sunflowers that's almost ready to go in the ground. Some Asian greens that needs to be up-potted. Um, all those guys need to be, need to go somewhere in the ground that is, not giving it away. Um, this is new, we just got this today. This is a green banana from Lowe's. So we'll see. Never had a green banana before. Uh, all these peppers, they need to be either in the ground or moved to a bigger pot. More sunflowers and flowers over there. Um. <laughs> what is the new? Check out this beautiful incense flower. How gorgeous is that? And I have tons of butterflies and um, caterpillars just around this area because it loves the incense flowers. Or vine. Oh, that's another incense vine. Check out that butterfly. Looking to lay its egg. Um, 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 um. Let's see. The sapote is getting bigger. The fruits that is. Check out that cluster up there. There's like six there. And this tree is loaded this year. So is this smaller one over here. Same size fruit pretty much. Never tasted fruit on this tree before. So that will be exciting. These kooka melons really need a trellis. golden gooseberries. They either need to go in the ground or a bigger pot. Purple possum, I need to find a spot for it. And Jacob is just being nosy. Oh yes, so this is new. This is a Fraser ornamental strawberry. It has awesome pink flowers. Oh yes, the showstopper. So the showstopper berry, look at this, it is starting to flower. How awesome is that? And then so is the sherbet berry, look at that. So cool. And this guy is like a stick in a one gallon. And I got this from Richard's Garden Center. Um, this artichoke, I'm gonna let it flower. That's a purple artichoke. Here's the blue crown passion. Closer look. Gorgeous. Here's my um, cattle panel slash arch. And what's cool about this or this area is 
I have lots of cherry tomatoes and the cherry tomatoes, they're just gonna pretty much grow and I'm gonna train it to go over this cattle panel. So it's gonna be super awesome. The low quad in there is still looking pretty good. Let's see. Moringa, since last week, it has quadruple its size in length. Then I went ahead and started some more seeds. Here we have strawberry papayas. And in there, more different papayas. And more papayas there. And something else over there. So we'll see. Here's a look at the chocolate stripe uh, tomato again, but this one is really unique. Look at this. Looks like it has a, an angry face. <laughs> so cute. Just a whole bunch of stuff over there that needs to either go in a bigger pot or the ground. Okay, so here is the most exciting thing for this week, for me at least. These guys are the wing beans, the Asian wing bean. This is my fifth try, and they're looking pretty amazing still, especially this pot right here. Look at that, looking pretty good. So what I did was I just cut the bottom of these one gallon, and then I just plop it into the ground. I didn't want to disturb the roots because I think that's my problem last time. Um, Here we go. Here's another new tree of the week. This guy is a Fuyu persimmon. Wow. Okay. Either it's too hot or I'm doing something wrong. But I have faith that this guy's going to do a lot better. The Kushu kumquat. It is flowering like crazy. Like the whole tree is covered. And then I want to go ahead and end this week's video with the Armenian cucumber. Look at that. It's flowers everywhere. So I'm going to get tons of fruits this year. Tons. All right, guys, as always, Thank you for stopping by, and I know the video today is a little boring. Um, please do come back next week. Hopefully I'll have more interesting things and more fruits, hopefully to taste for you guys. All right, peace out.